Karani Thak has introduced uh, season three of Yagi Challenge uh, uh, this time, and uh, it, the Yagi Challenge season three is organized in two different phases. Uh, the first phase is the hackathon, which will be held on the 31st of October and 1st and 2nd of November, uh, and uh, out of which few teams will be selected, and uh, the finals will be held in Colombo, uh, which is on the 22nd of November. So, uh, to give you a brief outlook and introduction as to what we are expecting from the teams this time, uh, we have with us uh, Preeti. Uh, as most of you all know, Preeti has been the judging panel for the past two seasons, and uh, uh, Preeti uh, is a DB architect at uh, PSN Lanka, and uh, he has a wealth of experience over 20 years as in uh, various capacities. So, welcome, Preeti. Uh, Preeti, uh, this time uh, we uh, we hear that there are a lot of changes being introduced, the competition has been revamped. Uh, could you tell us uh, what those changes are and uh, what uh, were the reason and the rationale behind these changes? This time we have two important changes in the whole process. First thing, we are going to have a three day hackathon. At the end, we are expecting a working prototype from the candidates. All these past years, we didn't expect that, and we were getting people, uh, you know, who even won some of the awards, and they promised that they will come up with a working prototype, and I'm yet to see uh, any of these things. Uh, so that is the first thing. Second important thing is uh, we are going to bring investors, especially uh, Angel Network. Uh, Lanka Angel Network and various other uh, companies into this process where they are going to look at the business viability of these products and they, they may even invest on some of these products. So it is more on bringing a business out of these products rather than just having a three days of presentations. Okay. Uh Maybe how uh, should the teams prepare themselves and what are the competencies that you expect from the teams this time? Okay, very important point is the team should be ready to develop the product. That type of team is what we are expecting. Now, in the past, we have seen some teams who had members who have not even written a single piece of code in their entire life. Uh, I don't think that is going to work that much. Uh, more than that, they need to consider about what they are going to develop and whether that has a business value and whether that can attract investors, that is something serious they need to look into. Uh, how many teams are we planning to select for the final system? So we are expecting about five teams uh, to the final round uh, and we are expecting uh, the, oh, we, are, we are looking at the capabilities of the team and the product and business viability of the product uh, and the product should have a clear differentiator from the existing products. No point of just bringing uh, something existing without a differentiator. That's what we are looking at. So uh, since we have introduced a lot of changes and since we want a product uh, Working prototype this time. Uh, what type of team competition are we, uh, team composition are we looking at? at? This time we are looking at more developers into the team. Of course, definitely the team needs uh, uh, business analyst capabilities, but sometime having a pure business analyst may be an overkill to the team because team has a maximum limit. Even though we don't have a minimum. Uh, number of users there is no limit on that it can be even a single person but we have a maximum limit so that team should have more developers but also they need to consider the market uh, needs uh, when they are developing on what criteria and basis are we going to select the teams this time ideas can be anything but it has to be practical so in the past we have seen some ideas which uh, even at the presentation they said uh, this is a research project it may work it may not work so which may not be a good idea to bring 
because you are expecting a working prototype at the end of the, the third day. Yeah, so it has to be practical. But the whole world is open to it. Uh, finally, Preeti, what message, what is your message from the team's design? It's good that you ask this question. As you know, this time it's completely different. You have a wonderful opportunity this time to get an investor to invest in your product. And you can start a company with the help of this investor. In the past, we had focused only on winning a competition. This time, even though you can win the competition, even if you fail to win that competition, you have a chance of getting an investor. Lankan Angel Network is willing to invest millions into your projects. If your project is business viable, and if they, see, if they see the potential in that. So, I encourage everybody to come and bid for it. You have a chance of not only starting a company, you are going to be a pioneer in making Jaffna the next Silicon Valley. So, come.